You're watching IamAVL.com. I'm Allie, and we are back interviewing local bands who are playing this year's Bell Share. And I'm here with Carolina Rex. And is this the first year that you all are playing Bell Share? Uh, yes. Yes. <laughs> it, is. it is. Do you, um, were you surprised when you, when you got the call that you'd been booked for it? Uh, we were very surprised. Yeah, we've uh, applied... I don't know, maybe the last three times, three times, two, three times. Yeah. So it was it was a nice surprise. Yeah. So three times is the charm, as they say. And didn't they lose your email or something along those lines? I mean, it ended up in your junk folder or something. Yeah. Oh, oh no. yeah. 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 I, uh, apparently they had chosen us and they had sent me like five or six emails uh, and it got sent to my spam folder and I had no idea. <laughs> so I, I got a call from one of the Bell Share guys asking, uh, if if I got them, I guess that's that's a nice surprise though. I mean, it's better than getting surprised by finding out that you didn't that we get missed it. it. <laughs> <Right>? <laughs> yeah, that you <laughs> that Bell Share happened yeah. two weeks ago. So so how do you all feel about that? This might be the last Bell Share. You know, if this is going to be the, the last one. Let's make it count. Sounds like a sounds like a good plan. Have yeah, what he said. <laughs> <laughs> you were saying, Alec, that you you sometimes tend to steer clear of downtown, and I would imagine that crazy <laughs> festival weekends are that makes a lot of people uh, kind of want to get out into the out into the woods a bit. But um, have you been to any bell shares in the past, just as a just as a festival goer? In the past, as a festival goer, yes, I have. Uh, in the past, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any really good memories or favorite bands that you? that you saw Brian <laughs> <laughs> yeah um, you know a few years back I can't remember how long it's been now but uh, the goodies I don't know if you remember the oh goodies. yeah definitely oh yeah love seeing the goodies um, you know as far as national acts uh, I remember Kenny Wayne Shepherd when he played Bell Share he really tore the place down yeah he was awesome yeah cool yeah so tell us a little bit about Carolina Rex, because I know that the band is drawing from a lot of different influences, and, and um, yeah, I think it would just be kind of good to talk a little bit about your sound. and. Uh, well, we kind of try to be as versatile uh, as we can, really, depending on the venue or, or gig that we're playing. Mm -hmm. You know, we may pull out blues, some country-flavored stuff, uh, funk, R&B, dance, uh, original music, you know, just kind of all over the place really. Um, I think at, at the Bell Share show we'll be doing primarily blues, uh, Texas blues kind of stuff. Yeah, so tell me how Texas blues differs from, I don't know, like... Non-Texas blues. Non-Texas blues, there we go. <laughs> uh, Texas blues is primarily guitar driven. You think of Stevie Ray Vaughan and mm -hmm. uh, Johnny Winter, you know, those those kind of guys. Has a top. Yeah. Easy top, yeah. As as opposed to more of a cleaner uh, Chicago blues, BB uh, King style. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're our our blues, Texas blues. I think tends to be a little bit more uh, aggressive. It's nasty. <laughs> I bet it really gets the crowd going, though. I... That's my job. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as the singer, right? that's his job. Or one of the singers, that's his job. Do, do you have favorite go-to songs, especially like at a festival, to just really get people into it right away? Of course, absolutely. Um, you know, we're uh, uh, I won't I won't give away what we're what we're playing tomorrow. Maybe but, just uh, a hint. You know, but uh, you know we've got a we've got a pretty popular Stevie Ray song that we're gonna we're gonna pull out to kick things off. So uh, you know, and everybody know you know just stuff that everybody knows and recognizes and. Um, you know, immediately they click and they go, yeah, I know that. And they, you know, they get pumped about it. So, yeah. So is that kind of the trick to picking a really good cover song is, is something that people are going to recognize right away and connect with? It's got to be something that they're going to recognize and connect with, or at least have heard, you know, we also need to be able to sell it. So it's got to be something that we feel, um, that moves us. Mm -hmm. You know, so. Yeah, it, it's it's also for me. It also has to be somewhat unique. You know, we we we, we try to steer away from uh, songs that you hear every other band do in general. You know, there there are some I, I think you pretty much have to do as a, a, a cover band. Uh, but as much uh, 
individuality as we can we can get yeah so will you be performing any of your originals at Bellshare? uh <laughs> i don't think we have any on the on the set list right now yeah i, I was just kind of curious i i think it's kind of interesting um just the process of mixing originals and covers together and figuring out how to sort of dovetail the two of those yeah yeah again it kind of depends on the venue and and the gig yeah yeah usually what we'll do is we'll we'll start out with some covers and then um we'll sneak in an original after you know four or five songs something like that and um typically i don't announce the cover songs i just kind of uh, expect most people <laughs> most people to know, them. know know that those are not our songs yeah but when we play our own stuff i make sure people know that we're playing our stuff so so tell me um since you all probably play a lot of venues do you have a preference between like a, a venue show in the evening in a bar versus being you know a daytime show at a festival um you know i like each person i like each uh for different reasons mm-hmm. you know there, there are some clubs some venues that we play pretty regularly um that i like because you know it feels like home you've, you've played there for so long you're just comfortable with the staff um and you know it's nice when they've got a built-in crowd and a, a, a dancing crowd but the festivals are nice too uh, whenever somebody else is running sound for you. Yeah, that's, yeah. That's always a good thing. Yeah, that sounds good. Well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to come in and talk to us. I, I appreciate it, and it's good to meet you. Thank you. You too. Yeah, too. Um, thank you. Remind, remind us all you're playing Friday afternoon. and Friday on the Biltmore stage okay. at 4.45. All right, Carolina Rex, Friday, Biltmore stage, 4.45. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It wasn't too wasn't too painful. <laughs> not for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's not <laughs>